Hello friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. This is 10th class in differentiation chapter. In this class, we are going to learn about implicit differentiation. To understand implicit differentiation, first you must know what is implicit function. So first four minutes of this video, I'll explain about the definition of implicit function. What is implicit differentiation? The differentiation of implicit function is known as implicit differentiation. Throughout this implicit differentiation, you need to keep three points in your mind. Once you identified given function is an implicit function, first you need to differentiate with respect to x on both sides. Once differentiation is over, second step, we will write all dy by dx terms at one side, remaining all to other side. Third step, after writing all dy by dx terms at one side, we will take dy by dx common. Then you can easily get dy by dx from the given implicit function. Throughout this implicit differentiation, you need to observe these three points. Without much delay, let's begin the class. To understand the definition of implicit function, first you must know what is explicit function. What is the general meaning of explicit? Explicit means clearly stated. There is no room for confusion. First, we will try to understand the definition of explicit function and I'll explain about it clearly with the help of examples. What is explicit function? Dependent variable y is clearly stated in terms of x. What is dependent variable? What is independent variable? All those things I'll explain in example. Explicit function is denoted by y equal to f of x. You see some examples here. You see y equal to 2x square plus 4x plus 5. This is the example for explicit function. Here dependent variable means what? Here if I take x equal to 1, based on that only we will get y value. In this equation x is independent variable. y is dependent variable because y value depends upon x value. So here in this example y is clearly stated in terms of x. What is explicit function? In explicit function dependent variable y is clearly stated in terms of x. Second example y equal to e power x plus 1. By seeing this example is it clearly specified y in terms of x? Yes. So this is the example for explicit function. You observe this one y equal to 4x plus 3. By seeing this example are they clearly specified y in terms of x? Yes. Dependent variable y clearly stated in terms of x. Explicit function is denoted by y equal to f of x. So these are the examples for explicit function. In all these things they clearly specified dependent variable y in terms of x. Now we will see what is the definition of implicit function. Dependent variable y is not clearly stated in terms of x. Implicit function is denoted by f of x comma y equal to 0. See here explicit function is denoted by explicit function is denoted by y equal to f of x. Implicit function is denoted by f of x comma y equal to 0. You observe this example x square plus y square equal to 1. By seeing this equation what you can say is y is clearly stated in terms of x? No. But in this example this implicit function can be converted into explicit function. We can write y equal to what from this. In the given equation is y is clearly stated in terms of x? No. So this is the example for implicit function. Please try to understand. In this example, implicit function can be converted into explicit function. In this example only. I hope you are understanding. By seeing the equation, this is the equation in terms of x and y. Here, y is not clearly specified in terms of x. I hope you are understanding. So this is the example for implicit function. You see this example. By seeing this equation, what you will say? Dependent variable y is clearly stated in terms of x. Are they expressed y clearly in terms of x? No. In this equation, two variables are there, x and y. So, this is the example for implicit function. In this equation, y is not clearly stated in terms of x. You observe this one. Implicit function is denoted by f of x comma y equal to 0. Okay. Now, you see this example. ax plus by square equal to cos y. Here, y is clearly expressed in terms of x. No. 
Here it is a function in terms of x and y. By seeing this equation we can easily say that y is not clearly stated in terms of x like this. y is not stated clearly in terms of x. So this is the example for implicit function. And one more thing, here you cannot convert this into explicit function. Here you see, this is implicit function. There is a chance we can convert into explicit function. Here, this is implicit function. This you cannot convert. You cannot state y in terms of x clearly. Because here cos y is there, you cannot state y clearly in terms of x. I hope you are understanding. Whenever you see equations like this x square plus y square equal to 1, x square plus xy plus y square equal to 100, or whenever you see an equation in terms of x and y, then those equations are known as implicit functions. What is implicit differentiation? The differentiation of implicit function is known as implicit differentiation. Now, we are going to do three problems related to implicit differentiation. You observe the question, 2x plus 3y equal to sin x, then find dy by dx. You observe this equation. Is it implicit function? Y is not clearly stated in terms of x. So this is implicit function. How we will calculate dy by dx in implicit function? To calculate dy by dx, generally we will go through these three steps. First thing, once you identified given function is an implicit function, you differentiate that with respect to x on both sides. Once differentiation is over, you write all dy by dx terms at one side, remaining all terms other side. Afterwards, you take dy by dx common. You observe here, first I take in given implicit function, 2x plus 3y equal to sin x. As I identified it is an implicit function, what I will do to get dy by dx, what is the first step? I will differentiate with respect to x on both sides. See here, what step I written? Differentiating with respect to x on both sides. Differentiating with respect to x on both sides is nothing but you just write d by dx to this equation on both sides. You observe d by dx of 2x plus 3y equal to d by dx of sin x. What happened? For this equation, I just written d by dx on both sides. Now, d by dx of 2x plus 3y. You know how we will differentiate this. We will differentiate each and every term like this. Look here. d by dx of 2x plus d by dx of 3y from basic differentiation. Now, you observe this. d by dx of sin x. Here, given function is in terms of x. We are differentiating with respect to x. So, nothing to worry. d by dx of sin x is direct formula. Derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x. That is what I written here. Now, further if I simplify, you observe this, d by dx of 2x, you know d by dx of ku formula, k into derivative of u, basic rule of differentiation. So, d by dx of 2x can be written as 2 into derivative of x, okay, plus d by dx of 3y, here also, here 3 is constant, na? you just take 3 outside, 3 into d by dx of y, okay. Further if I simplify this, 2 I written as it is, Derivative of x with respect to x. So, derivative of x with respect to x is 1. Now, 3 I written as it is. d by dx of y is same as dy by dx. In last class also, we discussed this very frequently. d by dx of y is same as dy by dx. And this cos x I written as it is. I just differentiated given equation with respect to x on both sides. Now, what is the second step? Write all dy by dx terms at one side. Now, what I'll do after this, I'll write all dy by dx terms at one side. See here, 3 into dy by dx. This is the term I'll keep one side. Remaining all terms I'll take to other side. You see here, 3 into dy by dx equal to cos x minus 2. How you got this step? I just taken this 2 to the right hand side. Okay. Once you written all dy by dx terms at one side, you take dy by dx common. Actually, here only one dy by dx term is there. So, nothing to worry. Directly, you can write dy by dx. From this equation, what is dy by dx? dy by dx equal to cos x minus 2 divided by 3. See, throughout this implicit differentiation, you are going to observe three points. First thing, once you identified given function is implicit function, you will differentiate with respect to x on both sides. Once differentiation is over, what you need to do, you write all dy by dx terms at one side, remaining all terms other sides. After that, you just take dy by dx common. Once you take dy by dx common, after this step, you can easily write what is dy by dx. You observe the second question, 2x plus 3y equal to sin y, then find dy by dx. First thing, is given function is implicit function? In this function, is y is clearly stated in terms of x? No. 
So given function is a implicit function. As I identified it is a implicit function, to find dy by dx of implicit function, I'll differentiate with respect to x on both sides. Differentiating with respect to x on both sides is nothing but you just write d by dx to this equation on both sides like this. Now further if I simplify d by dx of 2x plus 3y, how we will differentiate this? We differentiate each and every term like this d by dx of 2x plus d by dx of 3y. Now you observe here d by dx of sin y, this is important one, d by dx it means I am differentiating with respect to x. Given function is sin y, given function is in terms of y. Given function is in terms of y, we are differentiating with respect to x. As these two are different, how you will write this answer? You know derivative of sin y is cos y. You write that first, derivative of sin y is cos y into as given function is in terms of y, we are differentiating with respect to x. As these two are different, you just write into dy by dx. So dy dx of sin y is what? dy dx of sin y is cos y into dy by dx. This we learn in previous classes also. Further, if I simplify this, d by dx of 2x, you know derivative of ku formula. Derivative of ku is k into derivative of u. Here, d by dx of 2x is 2 into d by dx of x, 2 into derivative of x. Similarly, d by dx of 3y, as 3 is constant, you take it outside. 3 into d by dx of y, I hope you are understanding. Now, this cos y into dy by dx, I written as it is. You see, further if I simplify this, 2 into, we know that derivative of x with respect to x is 1, okay, plus 3 into d by dx of y is same as dy by dx. We are using this very frequently. d by dx of y is same as dy by dx. Now, cos y into dy by dx, I written this as it is from the above step. At this point, differentiation is over. As we discussed, I am going to do this in three steps. First, you identified it is an implicit function. Once you identified it is implicit function, you differentiated with respect to x on both sides. Here, differentiation is over. Once the differentiation is over, you write all d y by dx terms at one side, remaining all terms other side. So what I will do, I will take this cos y into d y by dx to the left hand side and this 2 to the right hand side. So here you see 3 into d y by dx, I written this and this cos y into d y by dx, I will take this to the left hand side. See this plus will become minus, see minus cos y into d y by dx. What I am trying here, I am trying to write all dy by dx terms at one side. Now this plus 2 is there, I will take it to the right hand side, it will become minus 2. Okay. Now once, what happened here, you written all dy by dx terms at one side, remaining all other side. Once second step is over, third step is what, we will take dy by dx common. So what I will do here, in this side, left hand side, I will take dy by dx common. If I take dy by dx common, what is remaining? 3 minus cos y equal to minus 2. Okay. Now, you just take 3 minus cos y to the right hand side. Then what you will get? dy by dx equal to minus 2 divided by 3 minus cos y. Okay. So, we got dy by dx. What they are asking? They are asking dy by dx. We got dy by dx. Or else, if you want to simplify this little bit, you can write like this also. You take this minus to the denominator. 3 minus cos y will become cos y minus 3. So, you can write like this also. dy by dx is 2 divided by cos y minus 3. You observe question number 3. If ax plus by square equal to cos y, then find dy by dx. First thing, you identify given function is implicit function or not. In this, y is clearly stated in terms of x. No. So, it is a implicit function. Okay. Once you identified given function is implicit function, you differentiate it with respect to x on both sides. Differentiating with respect to x on both sides is nothing but you just write d by dx to this equation on both sides like this. You see here, for this equation, I just written d by dx on both sides. d by dx of ax plus by square. How to differentiate this? We differentiate each and every term like this d by dx of ax plus d by dx of by square. Now this one is important, d by dx of cos y. d by dx, it means I am differentiating this with respect to x. Cos y, given function is in terms of y. As we are differentiating with respect to x, given function is in terms of y, 
as these two are different then how we will write its answer as you know derivative of cos x is minus sin x derivative of cos y you write minus sin y first you write minus sin y first afterwards given function is in terms of y we are differentiating with respect to x as these two are different i will write dy by dx into dy by dx now further if i simplify dy dx of ax as a is constant by using basic differentiation i can write this as a into derivative of x with respect to x plus d by dx of by square this is b into d by dx of y square i written this as it is from the above step now a into derivative of x with respect to x we know that it is 1 i written 1 here plus b into d by dx of y square d by dx that means i am differentiating with respect to x y square given function is in terms of y given function is in terms of y we are differentiating with respect to x then how you will write its answer as you know derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x you just write derivative of y square as 2y okay derivative of y square is 2y as given function is in terms of y we are differentiating with respect to x you just write into dy by dx like this so dy dx of y square is what is 2y into dy by dx equal to minus sin y into dy by dx this i written as this from the above step now what happened first i identified it is a implicit function once i identified it is a implicit function i differentiated with respect to x on both sides once differentiation is over i got this step I'll write all dy by dx terms at one side as a part of our second step. Now you see here this is dy by dx term. This is also dy by dx term. All these dy by dx terms I'll write at one side. When I take this minus sin y, when I take this term to left hand side, this minus will become plus. So what you will get here 2by into dy by dx plus sin y into dy by dx equal to minus a. This a is there now I taken to the right hand side. In this step what I did I just written all dy by dx terms at one side remaining all other side. As per the third step what I will do after taking all dy by dx terms at one side I will take dy by dx common. You just take dy by dx common in the left hand side. If I take dy by dx common what I will get I will get 2by plus sin y. See here 2by plus sin y equal to minus a. After taking dy by dx common, you can easily write what is dy by dx. See here, what is dy by dx from this? You just take this expression to the right hand side. Then you will get dy by dx equal to minus a divided by 2by plus sin y. They are asking to find dy by dx. We just calculated dy by dx. Throughout this implicit differentiation, you need to keep three points in your mind. First thing, you identify that given function is a implicit function. Once you identified given function is a implicit function, you differentiate given equation with respect to x on both sides. Second step, you write all dy by dx terms at one side, remaining all terms other side. Third thing, you take dy by dx common. Once you take dy by dx common, rest of all the things are very easy. Easily you can write dy by dx. In next class also, we will do problems based on implicit differentiation.